In this video, I will show you how to delete a user from a Mongo collection using Python and Flask. Let's go to VS Code and have the terminal open. We're going to create a new route. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and get notifications. If you have come to this video directly, look at the video description. There are the previous videos described there. Let's create the last delete route there. It doesn't matter where you place it. So let's create a route. And this is going to be a users. And we are going to pass the ID of the user that we want to delete. The methods, it's going to be just one, the delete methods. Let's create a function def delete user. The user that we want to delete will be contained in this ID, therefore we pass the ID right there. Try catch again, try accept in this case, and then we're going to get the exception as EX. Same as I did before, I'm just going to print some stars, just in case that we get to the exception so we can easily identify these stars. The print only works in the terminal, but we always need to send some response or a response back to the client. So I will copy this response and then I will paste it right there for the exception. Sorry cannot update. This will be sorry cannot delete a user. A user it doesn't matter what you put there. And this is going to be a critical error in the server. That's why I sent a status of 500. In the try, we're going to try to delete it. For now, let's just do a test. Let's just response again. I will copy this response. I will paste it right there. And I'm going to send a 200. The message will say user deleted. Save it. Let's go to Postman and let's create a new request. It's going to be a delete localhost for the slash users one. Let's see if we get the response back. No, I have actually a bug. You can see that my terminal is not running correctly. Method is not an argument. Perfect. Nice bug. Let's fix it. The API, the documentation says methods. Save it, rerun it. Server is running fine. Let's go to Postman and send the request. <clears throat> now you can say that it says user deleted. Let's pass this ID in the message so we know which user has been deleted. Message user deleted and the ID is going to be the ID that we will pass inside this F string. So we're just going to pass the ID right there. Save it. Send the request one. If it was five, we get five. Check. So the user is not really deleted, but for now we have this done correctly. In the try, we're going to get a response from the database and we're going to delete one user. So from the database, point to the users collection and delete one user. So which user do we want to delete? We want to delete the user which has the ID. Remember that this is the Mongo way to describe an ID with the underscore in front of it. And we need to point to the object ID. Remember a few videos uh, I show you that this line was needed because Mongo works with the ID as an object and that's why you need to import this object ID. Let's go back to the delete route. And now in the ID, we are going to say that the object ID is going to be the ID, the ID that we pass via the URL. In the response from the database, we are going to, before we continue, let's do what I always show you. Let's do a form. ATTR PP response and in their DB response. 
we are going to print and just for us to easily identify the attribute we're going to see three stars ATTR three stars again save it let's go to Postman again and let's send it sorry cannot delete user this is quite nice let's check VS Code again I don't have that message in the try I do have the message in the exception and that's quite nice that we got there because now I can look at this and try to see what the exception is 5 is not a valid object ID and that is because Mongo knows how the IDs are created and this is not a Mongo ID it knows it automatically it must be 12 byte input or 24 characters string correct so Mongo is detecting that and that's why we get to the exception right away I think this was really nice to see happening so you understand the purpose of the exception so now if I go to the get users I'm going to copy this ID I'm going to go to the delete route I'm going to pass the valid ID send and now it's trying to do something let's see if I just click enter there it was like hooked there because I didn't press enter in the terminal it says the user has been deleted let's see if that's true <clears throat> let's look at this e8f if 8 it's gone so it was deleted let's delete this one copy paste user deleted if we go and check the users we have an empty array so this is how you can check if a user has been deleted but there could be situations in which the ID is valid but no user was deleted let's do that let's create a new user via post send check the users that's the user I'm going to take this I'm going to paste it there and I will make a change instead of the letter A I will do a B it doesn't exist I send and it says user deleted but that's not really true the user was never deleted so if we go and look at this code it says that I have to delete I have to be able to delete a user and then I will just return this response but now I need to check if actually the user was deleted or not if we look at the variable DB response we can see that we have a deleted count that's what we need to use I copy that comment this out and I'm just going to do an if statement if db response dot deleted count equals one just as I did before if this is true I will send a message saying that the user was deleted so I will just copy this response we don't need these lines for now I guess you have copied that so I will just take the response indent it and I will make this message saying that the user was deleted the ID was the ID and that's fine because the deleted, the deleted count is 1 or else I don't need to write an else I show you that in the previous video I will just copy this return and paste it right there if a user was not deleted I can just say user not found and then I will just pass ID again obviously this looks a lot of lines of code but you can just do this in one line I'm not doing this because I'm trying to show you as much code as possible but if this was just one line it will look quite nice quite simple actually that will be the return and this will be the next return so the code looks very clean right so save it I'm going to go to postman I'm going to try to delete the user that ends with B it does not exist user not found with this ID 
and then I will change it to A, the ID, send it, and the user was deleted. If this is true, the user should be gone, and it is gone. All right, via this video series, I have shown you how to create, read, update, delete, and set up all these applications. I hope you like these videos and you subscribe and get notifications. Once again, it's not just to be notified about these videos because you have obviously watched them, but it is when an update comes into place, I will make the new videos and you will always be updated. Thank you for watching.